Welcome to the channel, hey, we're here. This is gonna be the last video I'm recording in 2023, even though you're probably gonna see it really early in 2024. It's that time of year, I'm, I'm dead tired from sessions during the holiday season, and I apologize I haven't made as many videos as I would like because of all the work. It, it's my time of the year, it, it, it's really busy with family portraits, senior portraits, you name it. Everybody wants a portrait in the holiday season and that's a good thing. This is also one of those times when I look ahead. I look ahead to the next year and try and think about what, what I want to do. How do I want to improve what I do? I'm a professional, so I have to do this, but I'm not sure whether you're an amateur or a professional that you don't think about things like that going into the year. It depends on how important your photography is to you as to whether you're gonna set any goals for 2024. If you are gonna set some goals, I think this video can help. This video is not gonna be fun. I'm not gonna be talking about gear. I'm not gonna be talking about any technique. I'm gonna actually be talking about the most important things to get better in photography. And I'm gonna be honest, they're often just not a lot of fun. My definition of fun with photography is when the images come out the way I want them to or the way I intended, that's fun. The road there isn't always fun. I'm just gonna be honest about it. All right, let's dive into this. I've got three important things, each one of these, you could spend a whole year on it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest about that. The third one though, is the toughest. The first one is exposure. And I'm gonna say something that's probably a lot of people will push back on. There is no such thing as a right exposure. I can hear it now. I, I truly believe this, there is no perfect exposure. There's no absolute right exposure. It's not a question of the histogram or this or that or the other thing with exposure. It's not. It is you are in an artistic endeavor in photography and the right exposure is the one that renders the image the way you want it. So you constantly have to experiment and push and work on learning more about exposure, experimenting, seeing what it takes to get where you want to go. You don't just set it to the back of wherever the needle is on the camera and say, you're done. You are not. You will totally limit your growth as a photographer by thinking of exposure that way. You've got to think about contrast, highs, lows, the balance between them. The, the histogram might tell you that you've got a horrible exposure, it's all the way to one side or whatever, yet the image is exactly what you intended. That's the right exposure. It's that simple. You've got to work on this, you've got to play with it. Practice, experiment with exposure. All right, the second major area to work on in your photography is lighting. Lighting is key. Lighting is crucial. Lighting is the thing that can differentiate you from other photographers. Not just can, will differentiate you. And I don't mean that you need to light every shot the way I do with flash or whatever. Not at all. You have to have lighting be a deliberate choice, not just whatever you find and shoot. I'm talking more of artistic photography where you're trying to make an art piece in whatever way it is, landscape, portrait, whatever. Lighting must be a choice, not a default. You have to choose how you want your scene lit. You're gonna use flash or not use flash. You're gonna use constant light or not constant light. You're going to use a fill reflector with what you find. You're gonna amplify it, put a scrim, put a put a diffuser, whatever you do, it has to be deliberate. And it is something that you will never stop working on as long as you do photography. If you're trying to improve your photography, it will pay huge dividends to spend time experimenting and trying to improve your lighting. All right, the third most important thing you can do to work on your photography. And I'm gonna say right now, 
that this one is more important than the other two. Because without this one, the other two don't matter. And that is your subject. If you don't choose a subject worth photographing, it doesn't matter how well you photograph it, right? I mean, this sounds really simple, but this is the difference maker when you think about it. If you think about all of the famous photographers in history, you think about what it is they photographed and it, it shines, it radiates through the images. Their technical expertise just brings it out. Why are you shooting what you're shooting? Is it impactful? Is it worth shooting? Does the subject make the viewer think? Does the subject make the viewer emotionally react? That's when you really got something. When the, the viewer of your photography can't help but react for whatever reason. In my case, I do commission work for portraits, so I have to make sure that my subjects are positioned and look and are in a certain way that's worth photographing. Otherwise, why are they coming to me, right? If you do landscape photography, you're definitely gonna choose the time of day for whatever landscape you're looking at, right? You better, because it's gonna change completely how it looks. Not only the location, but when. All of these things go into choosing a subject worth photographing. I hope you have had a wonderful 2023. It's been my honor to share these videos with you and I really have gotten a lot out of your comments and feedback on the work that I've done. I hope you go into 2024 invigorated and excited to get better and I hope I can help you along that journey. Happy New Year and until the next video, Cheers.